As we welcome you to worship, let us stand for the ringing of the bell to call us into worship. Before you're seated, take a moment and greet each other and welcome each other to God's house on this special Sunday. As you're finding your way back to your pews and being seated, I want to welcome each and every one of you on this special Sunday when the children give us the story of Jesus' birth from the fumbling, bumbling angels. Also, I want to welcome and just lift up some announcements. We have a recovery ministry, and it says that they'll be meeting at 7 p.m. They're actually meeting at 6.30 p.m. this Tuesday for a Christmas party. This Wednesday, we have movie for all ages of children, youth, high school, and a pizza party going on. If you would like to sign up to light Advent candles for Christmas Eve worship service, there's still an opportunity to do that at the 10.30 a.m. in the 8 p.m. service. And just want to invite every single one of you to join us for Christmas Eve worship opportunities. 10.30 a.m., we hear the story of Joseph as the earthly father of Jesus. And the 4 and 8 p.m. services are on the story of eyewitnesses of the birth of Christ, ending with silent night to candlelight. Now, as we begin to worship, to call us into worship, I'm going to invite Racer to come forward, and he's going to help us with the lighting of the Advent candles. As Racer is lighting the candles of hope, love, and joy, the prophet Isaiah reminds us, and the ransom of the Lord shall return and come to Zion, with singing in everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow, and sighing shall flee away. For somebody that can drive a snowmobile pretty well, you do that pretty good, Racer. <laughs> Please join me in prayer. Gracious Lord, we hear the word ransom, and we think of pardon. In the social media, people are being pardoned. In politics, people are being pardoned. The truth is, you saved us all. You forgave us all. Whether we want to believe it or not, Lord, you pardon us. The social media or politics can't take that away from us. And as we celebrate that with the children giving us that message today, may we believe it every day. We are forgiven. Forgiven and everlasting life givers because of God. In Jesus' name, 
Amen. At this time, I get to turn it over to Carrie Schaefer, and she is going to introduce to us a, a lot of fun. A great message, but a lot of fun. I wish they could do it more often. They've been working on this since early November. You guys are in for a real treat. So I'll turn it over to Carrie at this time. Good morning. Um, we're going to start with the preschoolers. They've got a couple of songs for us that they've been working on. And then it's my wonderful, um, we've got like 30 kids that have been working really, really hard. And they are so excited to um, present the Fumbly Bumbly Angels. It's got a little humor in it, so give them love. I also want to thank um, all my little helpers that have helped me the last month get through this because it has been... Um, a lot of fun, but a lot of time that they put in too. So uh, we hope you enjoy it. So we'll start with the little kiddos. And then um, one more thing, they will start or they will end with Go Tell It on the Mountain. And then everyone gets to join in some Christmas hymns throughout uh, the program. Enjoy. Good job, come here, 
ti do do re mi fa so la ti do. Amen. How was that? We are simply pathetic. I don't know, Penelope. I thought Daphne was kind of jamming. Thanks, Chair. So what did you think, George? I think we're all in a jam. And it's going to take a miracle to get us up there in the heavenly choir. One, two, three. Oh, joy, three more angels earn their place in the heavenly choir. Ouch, my finger, and here we sit. Songless. What if we never get into the choir? What if they run out of room? What if we sound like a flock of bees for our rest of our angelic life? We'll just be haunts in the wind. Honk, 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 honk. Daphne, dear, you're rambling again. Of course we're going to make it. We're angels. Heaven forbid there be an angel that doesn't sing in the heavenly choir. You're such a worry word. You know why we're not in the choir. We, we, all, we never finish our assignments, and we always fumble bumble it up. I, for no. one, was certain that after our last promotion... No. Knock, knock, heaven to Daphne. What? I, for one, was certain we'd get a promotion after the last assignment in the desert. Someday we'll get our voices and be promoted up, and someone else can do all this mending and repairing. I pray we get to move up the ranks soon. The tread on my sandals wearing a little thin. I, for one, was certain we'd get our promotions after that last assignment in the desert. Oh, those awful scorpions and lizards and those dreadful spinning camels. We have to ride. At least you got a ride. Yeah, oh, my poor aching feet. Pew-wee. What? Okay, angels, roll call, stand on my call your name. George? Here. Penelope? Present. Chance? Yo. Daphne? Daphne, are you here? Well, I, I don't know. Do I have to ride one of those spinning camels again? No, the last camel you rode is still dizzy from you talking in circles. There will be no camel rides for you today. Okay, then I'm here. Okay, angels, listen up. You have a very important assignment. You've been chosen to be the barrier of good tidings at a very special event, one that will save all people on earth. Wow. wow. So the boss has sent down two special envelopes, one that has destination to your, direction to your destination, and the other has the orders of what you should do once you get there. Put them together, and what do you got? Place in the heavenly choir. Think you can handle it? Yes, sir. No problem. Absolutely. Oh, goody, you're missing. Who wants to be in charge of the envelope? I will, I will. Oh, not you, Chance. You always lose everything. I do not. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Hey, anyone seen my sandal? Need to be seen more? Oh, Penelope, let her carry it. I'll keep an eye on her. Well, Chance, here you go. Take good care of them. Gee, thanks. You can count on me. We'll be singing with the other angels before you know it. But until then, will you help us sing Angels We Have Heard on High?
Hey angels, you're ready to go. So strap on those sandals and hit the trail. Heaven's counting on you. This is one of the biggest days in all of creation. So don't fumble, bumble it up. Bye. Hurry. This sounds like some heavy duty stuff. Hurry up, Chance. Open the envelope. Easy, dude. Keep your halo on. Well, I hope it's someplace warm and bubbly. Don't you, Penelope? I don't care where it is, as long as it helps us get in the heavenly choir. Bethlehem! Hey, that's where we're taking our senses. We go counting people, or is it sheep? Knock, knock. Heaven to Daphne. It's not sheep they're counting. It's people. Multitudes of people. Bumper to bumper people. Stepping on my poor aching toes people. Wouldn't that hurt all those little people, all those people in that little town? Please help us in this all little town of Bethlehem. Ladies first, Penelope. Oh, I don't think so. Well, somebody's got to jump. I'll go. Whee! Geronimo! Oh, oh, mercy me. Look out below! Ouch. Ooh. Owie. Ow. Heavens to Betsy, I've never seen so many people. This is worse than the day Moses part of the Red Sea. At least it's a lot drier. I don't yeah. even have a place to stand. Yeah, but it's a lot colder. I'm freezing my toes off. I don't have a place to stand. It's starting to get dark. Chance. Let's take a look at the the envelope. The map. Help us sing the first Noel.
a stable. A stable? You mean a lowly, smelly stable? How could a grand event, one of the greatest days in all of creation, happen in a lowly, smelly stable? <coughs> hey, where's Daphne? She was here a moment ago. Oh, I don't believe this. We've lost an angel. Let's find out what our orders are, and then we'll look for Daphne. Uh-oh. What? What? I think I lost it. Oh, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Not only have we lost Daphne, now we've lost the other envelope. You owe you fumbly, bumbly little angel. I knew we couldn't trust you with the envelope, so happen to you can count on me, I dare say. I'm sorry, Penelope, I'm sorry, George, I didn't mean to lose it. Okay, okay, everybody just calm down. Okay. Nobody's going to fumble bumble this up. We're gonna stick together and see this through. We're angels and we're gonna act like it. You're right, George, I'm sorry. Chance, sometimes I get a little carried away. No problem, you did it. Here's the plan. First, we're gonna spread out and look for Daphne. Then we'll worry about the envelope in the choir later. Now let's go. Have you seen an angel about so tall? Nope, sorry. She's dressed in white with this cute little halo that's its cockeyed on her head. Halo, what? No. She just talks like this. She rambles on and on, chipper all the time. And sometimes she dances around and flails her arm around like this. And she can't sit still, sometimes she goes, wee. So, have you seen her? No way, lady. Well, that got us nowhere in a hurry. Oh, and it's so terribly cold out here. Let's go to that inn to warm up. I'll go check. Never mind. We'll knock. Yeah, what do you want? We're looking for a friend of ours. She got separated from us in the crowd. Ah, she ain't in here. I've turned away more people tonight than I can count. Not a room left. Anyone in a town even had to turn away a man with the pregnant woman. She looked ready to deliver any time. You what? Well, I would have gladly given up my cloud for a mother to be. Well, hold your horses there, little missy. I really felt bad for not having a room for them, so I gave them some more blankets and told them they could bed down in my stable for the night. No charge. Oh, I see. Well, in that case, that was kind of you. Thanks, anyway.
It's a baby. Please help us sing, What Child Is This? <coughs> He's the Son of God sent here to take away the sins of the world. Because of this baby, people will be able to live forever. You're witnessing the greatest event of all, God's love. Mission accomplished, angels. Mission accomplished, but I lost the envelope. Do you read this? I picked it up after it fell out of your pocket. When I stepped it in my pocket, it followed the shepherds here. Sorry, Chad, I guess I forgot I had the envelope. That's okay, Daphne. Don't worry about it. Ditto in my opinion, it's a fumble bumble well done. Absolutely. I wouldn't have missed this night for anything, even for the chance to sing in the heavenly choir. Bravo, bravo, my young angels. Your presence here was all that was needed. For on this day, not only did you share in the bearing of good tidings, but you witnessed God's greatest gift of all, his son. Congratulations, my little angels. You've each earned your place in the heavenly choir. Hallelujah! Sheet music! All right, we're in. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Amen. What's the child's name? Him shall we be called Jesus. This is so cool. I feel very honored. This is the day we will always remember. Baby Jesus, how wonderful. <laughs> when do we get to be in the choir? Please help our choir of angels rejoice the newborn king as we sing joy to the world.
Gracious Lord, we do give you thanks. We give you thanks for the adults that are willing to help this happen and work with the children. We give you thanks for our youth director, Carrie. We really do, Lord. This did not happen overnight. It took practices, line memorization. And we give you thanks for our children, our young adults. We're very grateful. Lord, as we leave today, may we know that the faith is strong. And may we know that we believe in your birth because you love us with your grace much more than we could ever love you. And for that gift, we are grateful in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, amen. At this time, the gift of music, I'm going to ask our ushers to come forward and receive an offering to our Savior and our Lord for this message.
thanks for this offering. It's one of many ways to show and express our love to you. As the children tell the story, Lord, may we live it out to a world that is searching, to a community that is searching, from a church that is off. In Jesus' name, amen. And now we remain standing for the closing challenge, but before oh, yeah, I give it, it, the children yes, are ready I to be thanked I to at you. the end of this service in the entryway. Be sure to express your gratitude for their message Hello. in the service today. Now we have a closing challenge. Gracious Lord, fill us with the love the children told us about. The birth of the Savior, the Christ, the risen Lord, with grace, Holy Spirit, and eternal life.